got a good show for you today. First off, we're going to talk about what's going on in Bachelor Nation, starting with Bachelor Nation. And for the first time I can remember in 224 podcasts, I'm actually recording this open on the morning that I post it because I wanted to have my thoughts on Chris Harrison's interview this morning on GMA with Michael Strahan. If you haven't seen it, I've put the video up on my Twitter feed. It'll be in today's column, and you can check it out there if you missed it. Just really disappointing in the whole interview. I I mean, so robotic and rehearsed. I mean, all you have to do is listen to how Chris spoke with Rachel versus how he spoke with Michael Strahan. It's night and day. It almost literally looked like Chris was looking down and to the left at his notes. It just didn't seem sincere. It seemed so scripted. Like, I, we all knew what he was going to say. I'm sorry, doing the work or whatever. He said all the things we expected him to say. But even Michael Strahan at the end of the interview was like, yeah, that was about as surface level as you can get. I will see. You got a guy obviously wants to keep his job. And look. Chris said what we expected him to say. He's now working with a race educator and strategies, even throughout the name, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson. And that's great. I mean, that's what we expect Chris has to do to do the work, kind of unlearn these thoughts that he's had in his head for 49 years. And it looks like he's doing his best and that's great, but he can do all that and not be the host of this show. Like, If you bring Chris Harrison back, and assuming you bring back the same production team, and as we'll get to momentarily, Katie is set to be the Bachelorette, what exactly has changed? And here we are, over three weeks removed from Chris Harrison's interview with Rachel Lindsay, and the show and the network, neither the show or the network, has addressed any of this and said, this is our plan going forward, this is how we're going to address matters, here's what we're going to do about our vetting process. Whatever the case may be, it's unfathomable to me that this show and the network has not addressed this and said what their plan is going forward. It's uh, it's it's unreal. Um, but I'm telling you, just like Ashley and I discussed on Tuesday night when we heard Chris Harrison was set to do an interview with Michael Strahan, to me that was he ain't going anywhere. Chris clearly went on the show today and even said, I want to keep this job and I plan to keep my job. I mean, that's not his decision. It's ultimately ABC's decision. But I mean, if they're really interested in making change and they're really interested in diversity and moving forward and not having their franchise associated with racism, I don't know how you bring this guy back at this point. So they either take a stand and are like, yeah, we're doing things different. And it starts at the top. Our mouthpiece of the show is now gone. Or you just continue with status quo and like, yeah. I mean, put it this way. If Chris Harrison hosts The Bachelorette, you're telling me that he unlearned everything in one month? His interview with Rachel was on February 9th. If he starts filming Bachelorette, that'll be around March you know, 18th to the 25th, somewhere in there. Okay, so he took he took five weeks off. And now we're supposed to believe he's all set and ready to go? He's done the learning he's needed to do? Makes no sense. It's frankly embarrassing. So, but I i mean, I can't, I, I have no idea. I don't know, have any idea if he's hosting Bachelorette or Paradise or whatever. I don't think he's done with this franchise. And the fact that ABC still can't make a decision or announce whether or not he's coming back, if, and, or when, makes me think that he is. It's just a matter of when they're going to say he is. So, it's unfortunate. So... Just moving forward, we'll see what happens. But um, it almost like seems like this was the start of the Chris Harrison rehabilitation tour, and it started on GMA, and we're going to hear him in other places. I'm sure Chris is going to go on Rachel's podcast, and he's going to have to lay it out there and apologize and say all the things. But for this show to move forward, and if they really are – interested in making change and like we can't keep the status quo just bring in a new host it doesn't seem like that's where it's headed but i guess time will tell